Hey pimps, it's Madam Warrior. Welcome back to more Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome Amiibo. We are in Wee Pimp today because I thought it would be fun to visit Wee Pimp again, see some of our favorite characters that are in our neighboring town and just get a good well-rounded villager ending for uh, the project. So anyway, I I'm coming here also to show off that there have been a lot of changes to this town in addition to Big Pimp. So um, we are here to check these out. So first of all, we have this really, really awesome little see-through purple Game Boy, the Atomic Purple Game Boy color from my youth. Now I did not have the purple one, I had the pink one, which I named, oh my god. The yellow one, not the pink one. Jesus. I had the see-through pink Game Boy Advance, but I had the yellow uh, Game Boy Color, which I nicknamed the banana. So, yes, that was a little tidbit from my youth. So, looks like Rasher is home. Let's go ahead and say hi to him. We're just going to kind of go around, say hello to the neighbors if we see him check out the town and go to Main Street and do some shopping maybe. So just kind of gonna have a well-rounded day here in Wee Pimp. So you know what? I've heard that same line from Caesar a thousand times. Oh yeah I would say your furniture does represent you pretty well Rasher. Is there anything in here for us? No? Nope. Well, thanks for nothing. Okay, so we're gonna take off. Now, I believe no one has moved out except for Camo Frog, which we see him every day. So, I mean, he's the only one that's like not here that was here last time. Uh, but yeah, I've been making this town into more of a Halloween theme. Oh, I love this whole landscape outside of Ganon's house. So this is big Ganon's house. Um, he's got the perfect peach trees and the reason he has perfect peach trees over here, sorry, peach trees over here, can't talk today, is because when a peach, a perfect peach tree does not last forever. It eventually dies and you have to replant it. That's just kind of the nature of it. So you can't just bank bells off of it forever. But when it dies, it turns into this, whoops, this weird looking thing right here. So it looks like pretty much a dead tree. It'll even have rotten peaches fall off of it. So you can't plant those. You got to make sure that you have enough perfect peaches to replace them with, which you usually do. So anyway, these are over here so that eventually they'll look like that and they'll look a lot more terrifying outside of Ganon's house. So I made this beware sign. I have a caution sign out here. It just looks really, really cute. The roses, I'm trying to breed, so it's a slow process. Let's go in and say hi to him. Let's go in and say hi to the big Gan. Okay, and his Legend of Zelda house, which I think is really, really cool. Oh, but he got rid of his stereo. Okay. Ooh, you think Inkwell and Boris are besties. Sweet kitty closet that you've randomly got here. Oh, such manly things. Mm. Gonna set your your bombs off. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love Ganon. He's like other than Pinky, like my what? Oh, yeah, my birthday's coming up. Anyway, um, yeah, he's like one of my favorite villagers aside from Pinky and Egbert. Top three tier, yo. He's hardly ever home either. I'm glad I got to show off the inside of his house. All right, so I've also been working on this campground over here. Probably gonna put a sign outside of it. Um, there are some public works I've taken away because they just did not fit my theme and like this is probably gonna go next. The, oh wait, I have like two fountains I think. One of them needs to go next. You weren't here last time. We should say hi to him. This is Curly! We're tiny, we're toony, we're all alone. What? Someone I don't know yet. He's so cute. I love having this town full of pigs. I don't know why, but 
It's like a farm. There are a bunch of pigs and chickens and cool people. So this is the fountain I just put in that I wanted to be like in front of the bench. And then this is the fountain that I'm taking away because it was misplaced to begin with and just doesn't do anything for me. So I'm like, no. So anyway, um, yeah, I've just been changing stuff around, making it look better. Um, I added an apple orchard. What's up, Egbert? And I have my scarecrow guarding that now. It just looks so much better. Um, is the town you're from far away? Like, how far? If I run there, it's 12 hours. <laughs> oh, I love Egbert. Wow, everybody's, like, home today. We can just be social and check out these people. Oh, I love his movie theater house! It's so cute! What are you doing, Boris? Okay, let's talk. Um, fine, I won't leave trash here. Jeez, I come from a perfect town too! What do you want from me? Um, I am quite satisfied with my current town, thank you very much. Yeah, you better, but don't move there because I don't want you to. <laughs> Trying to get other people, not just we pimp residents. Well, I love them. I want them to stay in we pimp. All right, I love this this lady's house. This is a fan favorite for sure. And I just love her. I don't think she was home last time. Oh, and her house is so cute, Mitzi. You are just adorable. Let's chat. Oh man, when furniture falls out of a tree, it's pretty nice. I'll keep that in mind, Mitzi. Thank you. Now give me your stuff out of your... Oh, you don't have any. Fine. I'm gonna turn on... No! I don't want to go to bed. I want to turn on your TV. Ha <laughs> ha! Now you're stuck watching the news. Alright. What else is going on? Oh, why do you have to just explain a bunch of boring crap? I don't want to hear that. Okay. Yeah, all the neighbors like to have their house right outside of the police station. I guess it makes them feel safer that way. Speaking of which, let's go in the police station so that we can see Booker one more time. And there's a lost peach in here. Interesting. We've got a... Oh, I can't... Oh, I can't take it. Fine. Then I'll just leave. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I thought you could just take stuff. That's actually pretty funny. Alright, um, who else is up here? Well, you know who is up here! The big pinky! She has the cutest house! And I put a pinky sign out for her. I have all the pink roses moved over here and the pink cosmos. She has this balloon entryway and... Look at that, she even has Madame Wario color roses. I'm so happy about it. Let's go in and visit her. I want to like send her more furniture because her house looks really, really strange right now. And I'm like, um, I'm gonna mess with this. There we go. What's up, Pinky? Like she needs to get this bunk bed out of here and have cuter stuff in here. Okay, I bet you've been all over, oh, the hottest spots in Wee Pimp. Which part do you like and is your total favorite? That part there, um, over that way, around that area. I'm gonna say that part there. I just knew you'd like that part there! <laughs> now the question is, what the heck is that part there? Um, yes, I have spotted a rare bug and it just jumped into the water and killed itself. It was pretty exciting. Alright, Pinky, well, I love you, but we're gonna go explore a little bit more. So... I want to go to retail, see if any of these pimps have put their furniture up for sale in there. Because I've kind of been waiting on that so we could get some unique pieces. Whether it's- whether- either character I don't care, but, you know, both madams. Um, okay, I guess not. Everything is boring in here today. Nope, just a bunch of my crap. So I guess we're gonna leave. We'll take a, a walk up to Main Street. A walk up to Main Street! Oh, 
the song is different now. Just kidding. Um, I have my perfect peach sign, and I put peach perfect, like pitch perfect, because I thought that was cute. Um, so that's a sign I made recently. And Ava's not home. That's okay. We'll just... Oh, I didn't show this off over here. I have another standee. I fixed these standees because they look kind of jank and I wanted better designs. So now you can be a holographic Pokemon card. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I just like so much how the town is coming together now versus how it was. So I'm like, okay. Yay for updates and changes. So last time you pimp saw this, it was very different. If you visited the Dream Suite, you've probably seen all this. If you visited uh, Wee Pimp via Dream Suite. And if you want to visit Big Pimp, or sorry, Wee Pimp via Dream Suite, all you have to do is um, look at my YouTube channel description because the code is always there. Both codes are always there. Either one. So Maple's in here shopping. Shopping and bopping. Okay, what are we doing? Let's go look at furniture because I am constantly coming up with different ideas and redecorating my house. Freaking penguins always up here. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Why would anybody want that in their house? No, I'm not really seeing anything that I'm like, oh my god, that's what I want. We're gonna check out the Able Sisters. Oh, a hot dog hat. Oh, the Sweets furniture is out now! For um, fall, you get the Sweets series of furniture. So this is actually really beneficial for our home in Big Pimp because we're doing the whole Sweets upstairs. I love the chocolate bar dresser and the chocolate bar closet. That is the cutest. The flan table's pretty legit too. So, so cute. Eventually, Gracie Grace will do fashion checks in your town. We haven't unlocked that yet, but when she does, it's super cute because she will give you, if you do it correctly, if you like, she says, wear a sporty outfit and you put on like all the right items to make a sporty outfit, she will give you like a piece of her furniture. It's pretty legit because it's freaking expensive. Like if I ask how much this tiny little mini table is, it's like 80,000 bells. Like, that's too much. So, I actually do have the amounts for Gracie um, available. So, I thought I got rid of, like, the, the information I had on that, but I still have it. So, um, I actually probably should go over that. I love that there's a witch's robe in here right now. How much is this witch's robe? 7,200. Well... I'm not gonna worry about it right now, but I know it's in like the millions for every single Gracie furniture collection. So let me get that info really quick. Okay guys, so for the Gracie series of furniture, which looks just like her shirt, I believe it was the last series to be in the Gracie Grace portion of the Nookling shop. It's 2,646,000 bells to complete the collection. Um, if you want the entire Sweets series, it's a little bit, it's the most affordable series in the collection. It is 1,534,000 bells. So, I mean, you're always going to need over a million bells to complete a collection. The collection that happens after this one um, during the winter season is the Gorgeous Collection. And it is 2,158,000 bells to get the Gorgeous series in total. And the Princess Collection is the Spring Gracie Collection. It is 1,926,000 bells. So if you want every single Gracie Grace furniture collection, this does not include all the clothing and everything, then it's 8,264,000 bells grand total. So it's really expensive. <laughs> but eventually you get to the point in this game where you're like, I just have a bazillion bells. Unless you're me and you're constantly redeco redecorating and coming up with different ideas, then you are like, Woo! I have 300,000 in the bank. But most people I know who play this game religiously have like millions of bells in the bank, so that would not be a big deal to get those pieces. Later in the game, when you're still working on your house and you're at the stage that we're at in Big Pimp, it's a bit of a different situation. Oh my gosh, if I don't talk to him this time, you guys are going to yell at me again. So fine, I will do it because of his stupid, wet and drippy boob. It's rolled. I can pee and poop. 
on the potty. Yes, I can. I'm looking for clothes that can contain my massive muscles. You're such a liar. You're obsessed with toilets. Don't even talk to us. <laughs> oh, roll. Rolled, everybody. Rolled? Rolled? I can't say his name anymore. Alright, there's literally nothing I want in any of these shops. So I'm... I guess I'm gonna leave. I guess I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go. And I'm not talking to these people. Alrighty. Um, so... Let's go ahead and run back to Pinky's house and then I think we'll call it a day. We will call it a day. I just thought it'd be fun to kind of tour around good old wee pimp. As it is my original town. My home. My hometown. So. Alright Pinky, what do you have to say to us now? We love you so, so much. You're so cool. Alright. Hi Pinky. You must really like my house. Well, I do, but I wish I had better furniture. I want to chat. Did you know that Madam's birthday is coming up? Yes, I did know it's coming up. Although that seems crazy that it's already, like, coming up. I keep thinking it's, like, months away. Alright. Um, absolutely I have. Ah. Yeah, I bet they are. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Pinky, I love you so much. All right, well, that is going to do it for today's episode. We've got two more episodes to go of the main portion of Let's Play Animal Crossing. Um, I almost said Let's Play Animal Crossing Big Pimp. Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf. <clears throat> Welcome to my throat not working. Um, anyway, I will see you pimps tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Madame Wario, and peace out, pimps.